We're very excited about the new African Regional Data Cube. It brings this new data technology to five different countries in Africa that typically are not users of satellite data. And they're going to have this chance now to look at the Earth from totally new ways and to use it for sustainable development goals. Initially, data was being siloed as a, a scientific tool, but what I've learned is data actually is an everyday thing that should inform, transform, and even inform how we do our daily business. From our own livelihood, to environment, and to policy, and to how we engage as networks with globally and locally. We have all the data we want now, but that's actually a bit of a problem. It's no longer, how do I get the data and I can't buy it? It's now, I've got so much data, how do I use it? If we can get this analysis-ready data in a form that these countries can use it uh, rapidly and effectively, we've removed a lot of that burden because most of the problem they had in the past was just pulling the data together and making it useful. How much research is being blocked by the fact that people just can't access the data that they're trying to get? In the absence of data, it truly becomes very difficult for us and as a developing country to really effectively plan. And I think the government has taken a, made a deliberate decision to really leverage innovation, leverage ICT to make data more readily available to support our planning processes. Earth observations, both from satellites as well as from ground-based stations, in situ data and data from airborne sensors can help when combined with other sources of data such as national statistics, uh, administrative data and other types of data sources including citizen science, crowdsourced data, can really help countries monitor and understand how to better monitor and achieve progress towards sustainable development in a consistent, cost-effective and timely manner. Through the Global Partnership, you are at the forefront of the innovation and new ideas that will bring the promise of the data revolution to bear on the most critical problems of our time and on our efforts to achieve the SDGs. I congratulate your progress so far. I'm particularly excited to see the launch this week of the Africa Regional Data Cube, which aims to increase agricultural productivity and provide jobs for young people. We are especially pleased that uh, with the launch of the African Regional Data Cube, that will begin to make the benefits of data revolution more real and tangible to data communities who have often been left behind. This is a big step towards the destination of who we want to be in 2030.